Major James quickly deflected the missile and ran from the giant boss of cupcakes. Bam! He shot the bullet at the giant boss of cupcakes' face. Baboom! Icing flew all over the place. Soon, the credits rolled. Major James pumped his fist up in the air. He had beaten the game, Giant Cupcakes Revenge of Doom 2. This was the army game that his crew was always talking about and saying that he could not beat the game, but he had done it. He ran into the wreck room of his basement, I mean his base, to tell everybody, but stop in his tracks. He saw Gloomba. Gloomba, Major James shouted. Yay, it's me! <laughs> Gloomba teased. Gloomba was a slick good guy. He looked cool and wore dark sunglasses. He was part of the Air Force, which made James hate him. We want, we, I want a race, Gloomba whispered, lowering his, lowering his sunglasses a bit. Who's we? A member of Major James' crew had quickly appeared behind Major James' back. Us, a voice whispered out of the shadows. Who's there? Major James shouted, clearly alarmed. A group that seemed to shout Air Force with sunglasses and badges on their shirts bolted out of the shadows. Let's go race. Major James growled, determined to win. That's great, but Groom Bob started to say. What? He growled again. Major James growled again. You have to race with a partner. Groom Bob explained. Major James was okay with this. He turned around to pick somebody from his crew, but he had saw that the crew had already picked their partners. The only guy left was Captain Malvon. <laughs> Captain Malvon was the lamest army guy in the history of lame army guys. Believe me, he was the only lame army guy. He had a stash of silly string and water balloons in his lugger of pranks, he liked to call it. Major James quickly bolted out of the record and ran. A billion gazillion thoughts ran through his mind. But then, one big idea seemed to shout, pick me, bam! All of the other ideas in Major James' head seemed to explode. I know, Major James shouted, I'll race on my own. He quickly ran to the helicopter landing site in his base. He climbed to the helicopter that was super fast. The Golden Beauty was its name. The helicopter was set to go 300 miles in two minutes. Major James quickly started the engine. The smell of oil rippled through the air. Vroom, vroom. Loud booming noises blasted through the engine. Hold it. Gloom Bob ran toward Major James, huffing and puffing. Why he ran, he looked different, very different. He had a major bag, and his sunglasses were balled up from the sweat falling from his moppy hair. You cannot race by yourself. He shouted with his face tomato in it. Stink! Ranger James shouted out loud before quickly bringing his hand up to his mouth and bolting out of the helicopter landing site. Major James stared at a giant army poster on Captain Longbottom's door. It showed a giant picture of the greatest army soldier of all time, Major Bob. Major James sighed. He slowly pushed the door over the Longbottom's room, and Major James quickly wrote Longbottom a note. The note said, Go to Golden Beauty. I will be there. We will win the race. From Major James. After about 12 minutes, Longbottom came to the helicopter landing site where Major James was located. I hope I made the right choice, Major James whispered. You did, Longbottom replied, hearing Major James regrets. They quickly flew off to the starting line. A low sunset seemed to peek out of the clouds, shining on Major James and Longbottom's faces. The clouds were slowly fading away, causing a deep dark feeling in the team tank. The five helicopters were all ready, with Major James and Longmont bleeding in the front. The Golden Beauty's gold wings were in the sh shining in the sun, bleeding. They looked down to see a dark plains remains in the water. Longmont thought the water was as dark as Major James' fort at midnight. He could barely even see the remains of the wrecked plane. Suddenly, a loud gunshot shot in the air, sounding like a screaming banshee. Then they were off. Bam! Boom! Bob's plane shot a missile to a large mountain. Baboon, the mountain blew up, and giant rocks the size of buildings rained down from the sky. Whoa! Longmonum shouted. Major James' hands were clammy and sweaty as he tried to get a grip on the steering wheel. So Longmonum pushed Major James aside and grabbed the steering wheel. Hold on, he shouted over the roar of the engine as it raced under the mountain. Bam! A giant rock hit the side of the golden helicopter. Ah! Over Major James and Captain Longmonum screamed like the world was about to blow up. The world of beauty was going down, but Longmont had tried to pull up, and it quickly pulled up and sped off. Major James turned around to see the worst. Gloom Bob was on their tail. The finish line, Longmont shouted, they quickly sailed across the line. They had won. Drop, 
Major James walked all his back. He was super tired. He was at his base, and he had placed a trophy for winning the race right next to his number one major award. Suddenly, the door creaked open. He gasped. Wait, it was just Mom Bottom. Hey, dude, Major James found what, 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 me? Who? Mom Bottom up like back, shaking in fear, thinking Major James was about to punish him. We make a good team, Major James smiled. Yeah, Long Bottom replied. It was that day that Major James knew a team up is the best option, even if it is unlikely.